Welcome everyone. How's everyone doing? Welcome to five minutes of faith and fitness. Today we're going to see how we can get fit physically and spiritually to serve not self but to serve others. Let's dig on in right now. And so I was uh, going down kind of memory lane and thinking about growing up and the TV shows, you know, The Dukes of Hazard and uh, Give Me a Break and all these cool shows growing up. Those are youngsters probably like, what are you talking about? But um, one TV show that I really loved was Charlie's Angels. You guys remember Charlie's Angels? They were in this police academy. There's three angels. There's Farrah Fawcett was one of them, right? Everyone knows Farrah Fawcett. But Charlie hired them away from the police academy to work for him. And uh, he would he would call them and he would say, it's Charlie, uh, Angel, time to go to work. And they would get these calls. They'd be playing tennis. One would be in the spa. And the phone would ring. They'd pick it up. And would, it's Charlie, Angel. It's time to go to work. And that would be this ongoing. And so they all three would come back to this uh, their office, the private investigating office. And they would get this call from Charlie. Uh, this intercom call for their next duty uh, what to do. Here was the kicker though. They never got to see Charlie. <laughs> I, I know a lot of them would say, where is this Charlie? We always hear his voice. We're trying to put a picture to his voice, but we don't, we don't ever get to see Charlie. Can we see him? And uh, Bosley, I think it was Bosley, one of the representatives who um, worked for Charlie, would say nope nope this is part of the agreement we would just get orders from him they would hear orders and you go out and do the task and uh and so as i was thinking is that they never got to see him they would do all his bidding they would do all of his work that he would tell them to go out and go do and they represented him very well <laughs> and uh and it was just it was just crazy that that they would do all this and not even knowing who, who this is who, who this is um, that's giving them this, these orders. And as I, as I look at our lives in Christ, a lot of times, we, you know, we, we read the Bible and we're like, well, how do we know this is true? You know, we, we look at it and by faith, we read and, and we apply these things to our life and we are ambassadors of Christ. So we're not just messengers, we embody everything that Christ tells us to do in room representatives of him in all that we do every single day and so as we look at our life how are we representing Christ he gives us these orders he tells us to put the full armor of God on he tells us the old is gone the the new has come you know he tells us we're new creation in Christ he, he gives us these marching orders keeping our eyes on the prize you know forgetting those things that are behind us he tells us all these, these amazing things. And if someone, as Charlie's Angels, they can go out and represent and be ambassadors for, for just a man behind a telephone, how much more can we do that for God? How are we representing him? Here's what it says in 2 Corinthians 5.20. Paul's talking to the Corinthian church. It says, now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God. We are ambassadors, guys, for Christ. We are his ambassadors out here. And as we look at our lives, you know, we can look at it, how does that, this apply physically? You know, God has given these, these amazing bodies that we are to be good stewards of these bodies. What goes in them, right? What comes out of them? He's given us opportunity to move our bodies. That can be a little bit of movement each day what we put in our mouth nutritional wise, how, how much sleep we get, how much water intake, because we have a mission. We have a mission to share Christ each and every day. And if we're not healthy, how do we do that? And so physically and spiritually, we can be great ambassadors for Christ. So go out and know that you know on your shirt, it says ambassador. It should say right across your smile, ambassador. For not you yourself, but for him. So go out, be great ambassadors this day. God bless, guys.